So let's please put our hands together for Daryl Brown and Nephew. I did bring, I did bring good shoes, if you can tell. That we look at the shoes and not the, okay. So. I like your shoes way better than mine. Oh yeah, well, that's okay, you're handsome. Oh my God, it's so weird to talk into this. Um, welcome, this is really exciting. I'm so glad I'm here with this gentleman, nephew. Um, I'm very excited to be here with you. I don't know if anybody's seen things, anybody seen me at the expo before? Anybody here? Good, this is all fresh. I'm, um, I was talking to nephew and I just said, I'm very much experiential and I really believe that we as a whole, uh, we're gonna be playing some songs, some songwriters out here, but I really believe it's us. Not, I don't wanna be talking heads up here. I'm, I love David Byrne, but I don't be that talking head. You know, but where we kind of connect together. So if there's, if something's going on if we, and somebody really truly, truly has an idea that we're trying to solve something in a song, raise your hand. Not anybody who just wants to blab, you know what I mean, blah, 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 you know, that person. Don't want that, I'll cut you off. I have no, I have no edit button up here. But, but I really want, I want to want us to, together as a whole, collaborate together for whoever's up here. Because we're all in a community together, right? And, and, and we never know where a good idea may come. Now I do say this, and I'm just saying this beforehand. If we start helping somebody, and sometimes I'm like, oh God, there's just something missing. Any ideas that we kind of pour into anybody, if they're needed, it's free. And it's the same thing if somebody, if you have an idea and you go, oh my gosh, I know exactly where that melody would go. Oh, I, I think the title would be better than this. You know, just be, if you're up here, just take it in. But if you offer something, you're giving it to them. That's the rule, okay? In other words, if you say, I think it should, could be called I Kiss a Girl, and they have a number one record, you gave it to them, and we're all witnesses here because we're here to support each other. And the reason I say this, and I'll shut up in a second, is that I started in the first ASCAP workshops a long-ass time ago in New York and L.A., and I spent a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of years not having anything happen in my life. A lot of years. I mean, 20 years. And, but it was only about those who were around me and the community of people I met, songwriters, I could see you, got songwriters around that I was able to make through and then find success mm. as a person. And so why I opened this up, a nephew and I were talking about this, is just making sure that we're all together, we're not competing, we're just all here to have an experience the experience, an ASCAP experience with whoever got picked to be up here. And so, um, and that's all. I just wanted to kind of state that out, who my, my, my heart is. Mm. And, and um, I get emotional. I swear a lot. I say fuck a lot. So, so sorry. I say all the different kaleidoscopes of the word fuck when I say, you know, every version of it, you know, PH, everything. So, um, I'll shut up Man. now. No, we shut up. No, 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 me, no. Uh, no, I, I love... I agree with everything you just said, and to piggyback off what you said, um, it's a good thing to remember when we listen to somebody's music, we're also listening to them as a person. Mm -hmm. And we love people. And um, whether you may think is advanced or you may think is, it's just where they're at in their lives. And um, somebody gave me a shot, and somebody mentored me and didn't give up on me when I didn't think, mm -hmm. you know, it was nice to be in a place where you didn't feel threatened, where you was able, to, where you felt wanted more than needed. Because if you feel needed, there's a, you know, but if you feel wanted, we're there for you. And we want this room, you're wanted. And um, yeah, I'm just glad to be here with you, kicking it. And Same here, it's awesome. Aliens, you know, from different planets, the multiverses and everything. Let's get going. Wait, um, you want to call the first person up? Um, the first song, I Love You, I'm not sorry. Could all the writers from writers that come up? come up, please? Let's give them a hand clap. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woohoo! Everybody do the wave. Woo yeah. See? I'll let this side has got it. What's your name? Jod. Jod? Yeah. Hello. How nice to meet you. Hey, hey, look at her shoes, look at yours. Huh? These are new. You like them? Fire, oh my god. Fire, fire. <laughs> Honey, if I didn't have a husband, we'd be destined, I'll tell you. <laughs> Um, have a seat. Um, now, are, you, are we playing a track, right? Um, yeah. I, I would like to ask Let's this ask song. Let's ask questions first, yeah. I love you, I'm not sorry. What was the inspiration for this song? And get on the microphone, please. 
There you go. Love you. Okay. Love you too. <laughs> I think we're going to get along. Um, so um, I love people very easily, uh, very spiritual. So it's like if it's instant, time isn't really real to me. So sometimes it takes time. Sometimes it's like, like this. Mm -hmm. And I'm very communicative when I feel that way about somebody. So I'll mm -hmm. say I love you. But then I started hearing like, a lot of people, a lot of people say like, if you say I love you too soon, it's a red flag, and, and I'm like, am I a red flag? <laughs> so, <laughs> isn't I felt that, isn't red flag? Isn't that a TikTok thing right now? The red flags? Oh Thank yeah, you. yeah, Take true. Yeah. So I just wanted to make a song um, that was like, how do you say, it? like. Uh, unapologetic mm. about being open with your love and just mm -hmm. saying it because life is too fucking short to not say it. I like it. that. It makes I people like feel good. I, I like you know? that. I love you. It makes me I feel you good. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah, so <laughs> now most of you. you got a you. team of people. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. So this is, yeah, I love you. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thank you very much. That was great. Awesome. Thank you. No, uh, that was. Were you singing? Yeah. Oh, nice voice. Really thank cool. Thank you. Really, really good. Thank you. Um, you want to? You go. You start. No, you start. No, you start. No, no, you're great. You. God. you okay. First off, I loved it. I loved how open it was. I'm a big fan of melody. Mm. I'm so tired of no melodies. I'm sorry to say that. The if what I, melody? I hear these great lyrics and oh. I hear one note all the time. Time, yeah, a bit of I'm not sorry. I mean, it'd be one thing, but it'd like, like they rely on the record more than the melody, or they rely on the, the track more, or the lyric more, or they have one melody. I really appreciate you know, this simple middle melody in the first verse, really like the chorus a lot. I love that you changed up the second melody, second verse. It made, made us all kind of click in again, right? And, and traditionally, obviously, oh, you gotta repeat that, but it worked really, really good emotionally what, what you were lyrically trying to get up. Your, yeah. The energy was coming up. Yeah. And then obviously I love the chorus again and I loved how you came back into the last chorus. I do want to know, it's almost you started giving me and this has nothing to do with it not really loving what you did, yeah. okay? When you came out of the, yeah. I love the spiritual kind of thing of that, right? And you, and you come back in. And then this. So, it's so interesting. I like, okay, because of course, but there's something about when you do. It seems like um, emotionally or the movie of it, I always look at things like a scene in a movie. Wouldn't it be interesting yeah. if you kept that um, defiance instead of going right back truly to the chorus? Yeah. Um, Annie Lennox, why? Mm. The last course of why, the backgrounds kind of take a why, and she starts doing more, she starts redoing, saying the lyrics in a new way, and she starts, and she just gets more defiant. Wouldn't it be really interesting yeah. to break the pop form mm. in a very pop song, and you kept that energy going, and you kept on being more defiant, more defiant, and more standing up for yourself, almost like acting-wise, you were like this, and you just start going, and it, and it just, energy-wise, yeah. you kept that da-da-da-da, you know, just saying it, just keep saying it over. And then the very last line, it said, I'm not sorry. Instead of, I'm not sorry, it right. becomes, the angst of it comes up more. Yeah. That's the only thing on the record side that if I was in the room with you, yeah. I would say, love it. What can we do at the end that uses the hook and uses all the, what you said, I'm tired of this. Yeah. And you kind of raise up the angst. So all of a sudden it goes from the beginning of the song being really young, innocent. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then by the end, it's like, you, hey, don't take my innocence as if it's not a superpower. Mm. Um, Dana Madison, AO3 Medicine. Medicine. Are you medicine? Oh, that's, ah. The record medicine. is called Medicine. medicine. Okay, here we go. Okay. Tell us about the song. Tell us okay. what happened. First off, what How up, Ask Cat? What's good? What's up, room? Hello, everybody. Yeah. 
I'm Andre Ryder, this is Dana Madison. Um, yeah, I was asking her what was going on in her life. And she was <laughs> like, well, I just got no, flew No, no, hold on, don't, let me not, let's not start with that. So, and at this moment, let me start off by saying that I'm not usually like a super emotional person, um, but something was different this time when I came back from this trip that I had just been on to go see someone that I got flewed out by. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I got flewed <laughs> out. Mm -hmm. And after that, trip, <laughs> after that trip, I actually had felt like I had never felt before being with someone. Uh -huh. It felt magical. It had felt like I had gotten something that I had really been missing for a long time. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? It's almost like this person was my medicine, you know? Uh -huh. I've been lovesick, be my medicine. And that's what this is about. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Chandre, that you singing? <laughs> He's got Just a gorgeous kidding. voice, yeah. truly. <laughs> well, love your voice. I mean, the you. track feels great. It made me dancing, and and I, and it's like I heard it before, but I hadn't heard it before, and I kind of knew where you're going, but it was still felt good to go there, mm -hmm. which is really great. Instead of like, oh, I know where you're going, and I'm bored. I I just found my whole inside moving, listening to just just systemically listening to it and all that. Why don't yeah. you Why don't you start? Okay. I just want to say that first. A um, few things. Uh, first of all, incredible voice. Thank you. You know, great start. Like, I love the vibe. You know, like, this that's backyard. Just shooting the hoop. Uh, when I heard the pre-chorus, yes. I thought the melody. I oh. Was like, oh, my gosh. And the so when placement I got to the, was great. So when I got to the chorus, I didn't get the payoff. <gasps> you know, and I think it's important. Like, you know, I'm going to always be honest and tell you the payoff, the hook, you know, we challenge everything, you know. Um, oh, okay, okay. I could be. Hold, you know, hold, 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 yeah. No, hold. You're right there. So, he. It's interesting because is the. What if you came after? Come save me from this world without you. I'm just trying to understand you, okay? And I think I understand you. Not know if it's right or not, but you you do. I don't mind if you're not mine as long as you're there when my body's calling. Answer my body's calling. Late night, be my night. Save me from the world without you. Satisfaction is all I'm out. I've been love sick. Yeah, I've been lovesick, and baby, you're my medicine, you're my medicine, right? Yeah. Get right to that simple amount of information. Is that what you, you're saying? You, you will, you, will, will you sing the pre for me? I, I don't mind if you're not mine. Long as you're there when my body's calling, that's when my body's calling at night. Do the hook. Be my night. Oh, Come see me from the world without your satisfaction. Okay, okay. If you you in here, so so if yes. you if you thought about a simpler way to go into it, my voice is nowhere near as good as yours, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna butcher this. <laughs> so forgive me. So the oh chorus. My, I'm a liar, oh. I'm a liar. oh, trust me, I need my medicine. I need my medicine. So I'm gonna go to the end. I'm sleeping my medicine. But I think the love, yeah. do that with lovesick, because see, her saying yeah. lovesick with that one line. That's great. Well, so if try, fake that. But take you feel me? It, it, love so, sick. Yeah, it yeah. Love, leaves the stick. You know. It's so many words. But if, yeah. If, like slap yeah. on a and stick. And you could yeah. save, okay. you could save all what you're saying, all the other things for the middle eight, which is the other thing I was going to bring up. You have that pause there. You made the song short because everybody's a man. But doesn't it sound like there's room? Is in the room like, and you take the metaphor you're doing, but medicine said, I've been other specialists, I've been, you know, whatever, I've been other things, and no one before you could do, yeah. heal me, heal me, mm, you know, mm, heal mm. me like that stuff, you know? Right. And um, maybe you take that stuff, and there's that pause where you're just empty this. Maybe this truly middle eight melodic, you have great melodies. So is it a lower part of your voice? With that little lower Sade kind of, you know, little thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hear it. But, <laughs> but, but, but put that little lower thing, and maybe that's where that gets really central. Okay, Tanya. Yes. Let's start with a new question. Where are you from? I'm, I'm 
I was born in Hollywood but, uh, and grew up in Southern California, but now I'm in uh, Florida, and I was in New no York. Time. I've been everywhere. Okay, tell us about the song. Um, so during the pandemic, I was uh, stuck in Oklahoma. I, I don't want to say stuck, but um, I'm a city person. So um, I met an older gentleman there, and um, I just got into songwriting during the pandemic. That's, that's what I did. Um, and this is one of the songs, uh, and this was inspired by um, just kind of uh, embracing the fact that uh, I was kind of just ready in general for just to bigger, bigger, yeah, bigger life steps. And um, I think the song is is about commitment. If I had to just describe one word or use one word. Uh, and it's just about being ready for commitment and um, being ready for commitment and being involved with someone who may not be where you are, but that you still think is, is great. And so you're writing that line between patience and just going for whatever it is you want. So wow. okay. there might be a little conflict in there. <laughs> okay, now we're going to see if he did it, right? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Here we go. I always believe there's a paternal and a maternal that kind of come together, that kind of make the baby of what we write. What is it? And, you know, and I love that side. What's the other side that brought you here? To what you, to how your voice communicates? I mean, the, the, the other organic side of this. So who else? I feel like songwriting-wise, it'd be the Beatles. Uh, or just uh, Singing-wise? No. Else? Oh, singing-wise. Um, I don't know, some Celine Dion, some uh, Leanne Rhymes, I don't know. Uh, just I, everything. Okay, I manage and produce her, so I love stuff. her, so it's great. So <laughs> that's fine. So again, okay, let me ask you, okay, so when I went through the lyrics, a lot of soft lyric lines in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Because all I'm looking for is just honesty. That's why it's really mm -hmm. cool to ask you why you wrote the song and why you do that. And then when I, when, I, when I was stripping away, when I was going through, I said, what is it that I'm, I don't want to lose the innocence of taking that first step of wanting someone in your life. And, and when you hear like need someone, we've heard that a lot, okay? But that's fine, okay? So when I saw the last course, I thought it was interesting. It's like I don't even, it's like almost like the cool, I need someone to believe on, someone to call my own, someone to call my own. And so, which means I, I need someone to believe on, so someone to call my own, hey, hey, like that, hey, you know what I mean? Okay. You know, that kind of, I'm working it. So, um, but that, that became the best part of it, where I saw the first course, I, I don't need, I need someone that I can lean on that wasn't moving me emotionally. If I was gonna mm -hmm. take something that was in the room, I'd go, those last little things to call my own is probably the most emotional thing from hearing why you wanted to write the song. Mm. That is my favorite line, and every once in a while I'll change it to call home, or I think I use home sometimes. I could, mix you it could up. feel it when you're saying it. You could yeah. also, when it's interesting when you put it in there, it was the first time I went, I have to, and I'll be real honest, that I started believing you. Mm -hmm. So if I looked at that at the end and worked my way back, you know, that, that would be the thing where you don't need to lean on, lean on, you know, you don't need those. It's really about you're looking for someone that you can believe in and that I can call my own. It's the most important, simple thing. Mm -hmm. That would be where I would start. Like this is something that I would write and put on a tape recorder and not listen to it for three days. Come back and listen to it at another point and go, oh, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that, I like this. Then I do it again, leave it alone, and come back. All of us get so used to go, what if it came out in 10 minutes? Oh, 10 minutes, that's right. Fuck that. You know, new kid in town, <laughs> Eagles. A line a day, and a year later, they, after it was a hit, they still want to rewrite the last verse. Swear. I mean, it just had, hallelujah, Lena Cohen was never satisfied, right? So what I'm saying, you have the ability and the talent to communicate. I think you stopped too soon. Just love you. 
say yes to you. You know what I'm saying? Unapologetically love you. Because your songs are you. They're a reflection of how you respond to the world. Just love yourself. And, um, and I was going to say, you got your family out here. You know, be open to finding a collaborator that can give you different views of how to... Or just hang and be a backboard. Yeah. Sometimes we don't have to write, but you just say, can I play something for you? Sleepwalk? Yana? Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? I so good to see you. So good to see you, man. Good to see you. And the workshop, if you How you doing? Good to see you. You too. Man. Pleasure to meet you. Hey, what's, what's up? Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I woke up that morning with like one of the worst migraines I've ever had, and I was like, "Well, damn, we got to do this session." And uh, so it was a rough start. Yeah, it was a rough start, and we basically just wrote it about kind of hustling through even all the hard things, kind of feeling like you're sleepwalking through life. Not life, but this particular day. Yeah, through life. <laughs> through life, yeah. So I'm just autopilot. Producer, songwriter, started with a vibe, uh -huh. and they just started going. And, they, and then uh, we yeah. hopped in yeah. together. And this is like our day one demo. Songwriter's yeah, demo. artist. Got yes. It. Yeah. Got it. Awesome. On this okay. one. Okay, here we go. I'm a little cloud not right now. Take it up, take it down, take it left right now. Take it north to the south, take it all around. Can't stop. I'm sleeping. When I sleep, wow. This song has incredible potential to be something really special. Um, I would say the pre-chorus is incredible. Thanks. Cool. In the beginning, now I'm touching on the artist, the say song, it again? production. Okay. Uh, when you got to verse two in the chorus, I had to figure out where, like, yep. which Can way I'm going to be. Like yeah, it was, totally. That was the first four, yep. right? Yeah. All of the parts are though. It's like Tetris. I gotta. Make it fit. I yeah. Does this yeah. place fit? All right. So, it's a lot of words in the course, and you and and you explained everything in the verses. I think you you the post that you waited so long to get to. Mm -hmm. I think your post reworked could be a potential hook. Hmm. Oh. Because the point of the song is sleepwalk. When they planned it on radio, we don't have time mm -hmm. to be explained. So it's like the best okay. songs are the, the most. We get to the point, and the sleepwalk is hard. Will you, will you sing the chorus? Uh, I'm a little cloud, not right now. Take it up, take it down, take it left right now. Take it north to the south, take Can it up. Can you sing it? Sing it louder. Yeah. No, just the two. Go. I'm with the three. Oh. The three. Lonely, having trouble dreaming between that part? Yeah. the sheets overthinking, drowning and sinking. Can't close my eyes cause my mind's on fire. And you think it's a sleepwalk. And you think it's a sleepwalk. I'm sleeping with a sleepwalk. That's cool. That's cool. Like that. that's, that's cool. Now my, my kids will remember that, that what's that sleepwalk uh -huh. song? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Other that's fine. In the yeah. middle, they lost the point of mm. the song. Uh -huh. You know, Too so wordy, yeah. a lot of potential, a lot of Tetris, you gotta just move around some blocks. Yeah. The heart is there, the, I get it, it's clever enough. You know, it's not too dead on the nose. It tells a really great narrative, a story. Now you just gotta rework some of the blocks. Winning. Can we ask you one question? Yeah, yeah. Verse one works for you? Yeah, that we, It we, works? We, we, we I, I would decide, lyrics are great. It's like, are you gonna rap it? Are you gonna sing it? Right. And if you are going to sing it, uh -huh. if I was in the room with you, is this, the, is this final vocal? Or this is, this is still, a demo. This is day one. one. Okay, great. This is a day yeah. one yeah. work Okay, great. Yeah. Um, the first verse is soft. This looks like you got going, and then you started getting into it, and you never went back and fixed it. Mm. So. And we tried. That's what and we tried. And like I said, <laughs> totally right the pressure is weighing down on me. Set up sleepwalk. Think of the first line. And make, knowing that sleepwalk's your second line in your brain without doing it, what's your first line? Figure that out. Once you figure that out, the rest of the lyrics will just flow. My revenge. Uh, there she Rachel is. Siegel. Ah. Uh-oh. Okay, so I wrote my revenge in like February because at the end of last year I went through a little friend breakup and I was realizing like in the past when things like that would happen, I would feel so, um, so like 
condemned or defeated. And I was just like, wow, my life's actually in like such a good place. And I feel like the justice of like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. And I'm actually like living my life and like I can stand for myself. And so this song came out of that. It's like, I'm good. Like my revenge is that I'm good. I live a good life. Yeah. My revenge is my life back together. cool song. So much to work with in that song. So great. Let me just go to the chorus. I love my garden looks. So freaking sexy and it's just like awesome. I just love it. Um, the third line, I'm happier right now more than ever. That melody needs to go up. Do sing it acapella for me, My Revenge. My revenge is my life back together. Do the next one. My revenge is how my garden my looks. I'm happier. Go up, go. I'm happier. I'm happier right now. There it is. Yeah, my revenge. My, my revenge, revenge is that I'm good. You know, that okay. line needs to release up, you know? But you know, Rubbed this is it. another yeah. one where you could start the song with this chorus. I agree. It might sound really. I like, I, I like the mystery of your voice. Mm -hmm. I feel like when I listen to you sing, there's so many layers to be pulled back. You know what I mean? I think if pushed a little bit more, there's so many cool artifacts to your voice. That, Cause I mean, when that chorus hits, the time signatures change, which I think is dope. Mm -hmm. But I think if fully thought out, production-wise, it could be a really, it's like that old school Britney song, that rock and roll thing where it changes times, right. but it's done so smooth. The average listener not really know that it's that complicated. Yeah. So I would say, when it comes to finishing the song, our, what if this, what if it was, what if it was just one, dun, 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 dun. Oh. Right. will you sing it for me? One, two, three. My revenge is my life back together. So like if the, if, if the, oh. So helpful. Like, Thank what you, you have is is incredible. So like these are little. Well, it's so helpful because yeah, yeah, I want yeah. it to be the best. I want people to dance and not almost dance. And that's what it takes. So thank you. Oh, that's really great. Thank you so much. You did great. Congratulations. Let's see. Here we go. All right, everybody, everybody squish. squish. We love Ask Out. We I love Ask Out. You guys, thank you so much for being here, and thank you for letting me this. I wish we had all day, what but thank boy. you so much, okay? Thank you. Thank you.